for joining me today. I'm Colleen Klimczak. I'm an organizational and productivity coach and a certified professional organizer. I own Peace of Mind Professional Organizing, LLC. Since 2003, I've been helping my clients live better lives through organizing and organizational and productivity coaching. I support my clients and my community with coaching, in-person and virtual organizing, my weekly podcast called Your Organized Life with Colleen Klimczak, a free weekly virtual productivity session called Finish Line Friday, a free weekly email newsletter and regular content on Facebook and Instagram. I also offer presentations and professional development to groups and companies. And coming soon, I will be launching a membership circle to support my community with even more coaching and productivity content. Want to finish strong with me this week? Join me for Finish Line Friday every Friday morning at 9 a.m. Central for a two-hour productivity session. Drop me an email at colleen at peaceofmindpo.com or follow the Zoom Room link on my Instagram or Facebook pages. Welcome to episode 71, I do believe. Uh, glad to be with you. I have a, a challenge this week. So I have I have received a challenge from some folks. Um, and I don't know if I've mentioned it regularly, but I have this great opportunity that I get to take advantage of multiple times a year. I teach time and stress management to students in a Highway Construction Careers Training Program, or HCCTP, at two different community colleges in my area. So let me trace it back because we always need a reminder that we never know how far our ripples will reach. So I owe this opportunity to connections that I made in a professional speakers group over like 10 years ago now, I think. And I have to laugh because there's so many people that I'm still connected with to this day through the speakers group, even though the group disbanded a few years ago. Still connected or friends, network partners, whatever you want to call them that I met in that group. There were many industries represented and what brought us all together was professional speaking. There was a nutritionist. There was an insurance broker, Butch Zimar, who I'm still friends with today and who also has a podcast on the Broadcast Basement Network like me. There was a financial planner who does financial planning presentations and I'm still connected to him to this day. A friend and network partner who interviewed me on her YouTube channel last spring, Sabrina Schottenhamel, is a massage therapist and professional speaker and wellness advocate. And a friend and network partner, Alexandra Glumack, who is affiliated with South Suburban College, is how I started teaching this program long ago and far away. So I teach time and stress management at the HCCTP hosted at South Suburban College, uh, the Oak Forest campus. They have four or five groups of students through the program every year. And because of my experience at South Sub, I also teach a similar program at Kankakee Community College. So I get to teach awesome groups of people about time management and stress management. And I started to write today's episode and article content as I parted ways with class number 32 last week. So I told them I would give them a shout out. So hey, class 32, it was really great to meet you all. I started teaching this course around class number like three or four. So these groups are in class for 12 weeks and I speak to them on time management and stress management in their first few days of class. And to me, that makes a lot of sense because by being brave and taking on this coursework, they need time and stress management to make their lives work in the midst of this extra busy time. And I'm going to be completely transparent. The stress management portion is more stressful for me. I know that's weird, right? But it's the truth. Time management is productivity. And hey, like that is where I live. That is my jam. That is what I do. Productivity, sign me up. I could talk to you for hours about productivity, and I probably have over time, but the four hours of stress management content is newer for this group. I've only done this content three or four times, and I'm still trying to get the best right combination of content. My goal is to not stress people out with a lot of work while making sure my participants have the tools they need to succeed. That is my goal for these groups every time I meet them, to give them tools in their life. 
And I love that. I have the coolest job and I meet the coolest people. And class 32 challenged me when they found out I had a podcast. They wanted an episode dedicated just to them. So here we are. And I can absolutely do that. We tackled both time management and stress management last week. And here's the secret right here. This is what guides my practices. I feel that so many of the practices that we use in time management are also useful for stress management. When we feel out of control or unproductive, out of sorts, you know, maxed out because we're always late or we never feel like we have enough time to do what we need to do or what we want to do. Maybe we don't feel like we're making time for the people in our lives or we don't feel like we're making time for ourselves. These are all very stressful situations. And did you hear the words that I used in these statements? How many times did I just say time, right? Time. So here's the promise for today. I will declare that time management is positively and irrevocably entwined with stress management and stress reduction. Making sure that we're doing right by that is going to help everything else go better. If we can get clear on what we want to accomplish in the course of our day and then make it happen, yes, it's a management of time, but that also decreases our stress levels. We can recognize that and we can work with it. I will not be giving the four hours of content on stress management right now. That would stress out you and me both. But I do want to talk about what we look at in stress management in addition to time management, because I think that matters. So here's what the agenda looks like. In our time management workshop, we begin talking about routines and how our routines can support the things that we need to, to make sure that our needs are met in a consistent and regular way. And I know that I've talked about routines and other episodes. In class, we also discuss sleep hygiene And sleep hygiene is the routine we have around getting good sleep because we know that getting good sleep increases overall health and decreases stress. Then in the workshop, we watch a couple of cheesy videos on VHS from the early 2000s on productivity. Yes, VHS. And we talk about priorities and planning and goal setting. We look at priorities and the Eisenhower box, which I know that I've done an episode before about that because I always have really liked that tool. It's so helpful when we know that we're working on what is important and that decreases stress and increases satisfaction. In our time together in the workshop, because these students are students in a highway construction careers training program, we talk about project management. I don't always talk about project management. It's a very specific needs, but these folks are going to be working on projects. So we take a first glance at project management to get a feel for how they fit into the bigger picture on a project. And finally, in time management, we talk about procrastination because conquering that delay for no good reason increases productivity and decreases stress. So the next day in the stress management component, we talk more about routines. We talk about Maslow's hierarchy of needs because we need to be able to identify our needs And then we can ensure that they're consistently met because, oh yeah, otherwise we get stressed. It is stressful when those needs aren't met, whether they're physical, psychological, esteem, etc. So this past group, I also shared with them learning styles. And that was new to this group's agenda. And it was also the content of last week's podcast episode. I like the stress management content that I wrote because it's all about the person. It's the individual. And there were so many really cool moments with this group. We were talking about learning styles and I mentioned that some of us think in pictures and some of us think in words and some of us think in commercials or scenes. That some of us read the words in front of us and some of us actually sound the words out in our head as we read. And that just blew a couple people's minds. And I just loved that opening up, that awareness, that acceptance, that knowledge. It was just a really cool thing to experience. And just knowing that there's a difference among all of us is so important. A lot of our stress management was talking about awareness. So self-awareness, awareness of how we're showing up in the moment, awareness of how other people are showing up as well. 
And in coaching, awareness is always the first goal. So we talked a lot about that in stress management. We talked about physical awareness, like physical needs, and also, you know, awareness of, since it was about stress, where we might hold stress in our bodies. For example, if I'm stressed, my face flushes, turns red, and my shoulders get tense. If we know what stress feels like, we can identify it more readily and take steps to decrease it for our own wellness. I really love that, that physical scanning of ourselves. And apparently I do it a lot because a couple of my class participants noted, oh yeah, you do that all the time. (laughs) And I didn't realize anybody else had noticed, but that's okay. So along the lines of checking in physically for stress management, we also practiced square breathing both days. Because to be honest, square breathing is a tool I use every day. If you're not familiar, it's a breathing technique where we breathe in for four beats, hold the breath for four beats, exhale for four beats, and hold the exhale for four beats. That's it, right? Count to 20, done. Um, We don't push it, we don't rush it, we don't make it unnatural. We just focus on our breathing for five to seven cycles of square breathing. It's like a 90 second vacation. It's lovely. So to recap, it is great to teach these groups and class 32, it was lovely to meet you. Time and stress management are related. If we can get a handle on our time as a limited and valuable resource, if we can do better with our time management, that will absolutely help us with our stress management as well. When we better manage our routines, priorities, projects, procrastination, Our goals and bodies and wellness and sleep and breath, stress goes down. So those are all time management things, but it sounds a lot like stress management to me too, right? Time management is also stress management. I'll never say we can be stress-free and stress isn't always bad. Some stress helps us to perform better. My concern about teaching stress management last week meant that the night before the class, I made sure to check my bag and that I had everything that I needed to teach the group. It was making sure that I had all those things that elevated stress that helped me to be a better teacher that day and to work with my group better. And that's good stress. But long-term stress can cause mental and physical problems. The nagging long-term, you know, heavy weight of stress sometimes that can absolutely cause us trouble. And again, in transparency, I've been in a very stressful season personally, and I really need to rev up my self-care. So teaching this class last week helped me to remember those things as well. Because when life gets more stressful, I know it doesn't make sense, but we actually need to do more to care for ourselves than we normally do because the demands are so much greater on us. And again, I think I just needed to say that out loud to myself as well. So in stressful times, we need to do more to care for ourselves We need to manage our time better, and that's what it's all about. Support around productivity, time management, and stress management is what coaching is all about. If it's time to invest in yourself and explore coaching for organizing and productivity, I would love to hear from you. Drop me a line via email at colleen at peaceofmindpo.com or message me through any of my social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn. Thanks so much, and I will talk to you next week. 